five to 10 minutes of your time in the morning. I know there's times where you literally can't do your makeup at all. I was definitely the person that always woke up super, super late, but I always managed to have my brows on, mascara on. The lashes, not every day, but I feel like if you have time, maybe like going to school in the car, if you're not driving, of course, or a little bit before you go in class, just pop them on in the restroom. But I'm not telling you to ditch class to do your makeup. I'm telling you, if you have time to do these steps, then wonderful. But I try to make it as easy as possible, but still glam. I am no longer in high school. I graduated high school 2012. I know the generation right now really likes to wear makeup, at least from what I've seen. So I'm pretty sure there's girls out there right now in high school with a beat face, but I really try to like make this as easy as possible for you. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna first start off with my Nuance Blur Perfecting Primer. I'm just gonna pop this all over the face. Oh, this feels so smooth. So now for my foundation, I am taking the Maybelline Fit Me in Matte Poreless and I'm using the color 128. I'm gonna work in sections because this foundation actually dries pretty fast. But if you're somebody that has oily skin, you're gonna love this. If you have dry skin, it's definitely gonna cling on you. Even for myself, I have really oily skin and like certain areas of my face get very dry with this foundation. So just make sure you moisturize your face before this so you can have a smooth canvas. Let me know in the comments down below when you guys go back to school. Honestly, I feel like I'm a little late just because I've been seeing all these back to school videos. I really wanna know, I wanna do a back to school giveaway so I don't I don't know if I'm doing it too late. Now I'm gonna take this NYX HD Studio Concealer and I am taking the color Porcelain. I'm just gonna pop this underneath my eyes. Nobody got time to do like a full beat face. So I'm just gonna simply highlight the under eyes and the eyelids just to prime them. These are just like knocking extra steps out of the way. I'm just gonna blend this out and take it on my forehead a little bit. You really don't need to apply so much because it could look a little heavy and that's not what we're going for. Next to set the face, I'm gonna take the Airspun Loose Powder. I really recommend if you are gonna be wearing makeup to school, set it because that's gonna really help it last throughout the day and you don't want any of your makeup creasing. I always usually bake my under eyes now, this is not necessary if you're like in a rush, but one thing I have been doing lately is I go in while I'm setting the eye, I really press in the powder. That way um, it actually all sets in. Instead of waiting for it to bake and then dusting it off, I actually literally just take the powder and press it into my skin. I just got powder all over my legs. Girl, and I honestly just take the rest of the powder and pounce this all over the face Ain't nobody got time to like legit contour your face The easy way out is just kind of going in and bronze the face. It's gonna give you some color So I'm gonna take the nuance illuminating blush and bronzer. So I'm just gonna take the bronzer I love this one. This is obviously from the drugstore. So I'm gonna take this shade and just Pretty much apply it on my cheeks. I'm not trying to carve out the face. I'm just trying to bronze it. And the great thing about this bronzer is it's not so warm because a lot of bronzers can make you look very orange. It's right in between. It's not so gray, but it's not gonna make me look super orange either. Take this up on the temples too. I'm gonna take a little bit on the forehead and just take it down on my jaw. I'm just gonna snatch the nose a little bit. This does come with a blush. All I'm gonna do is grab a little bit and just pop this on the cheeks. Nothing crazy. My camera just stopped out of nowhere recording. I have no idea, but I just applied some highlighter. I went ahead and used the e.l.f. Moonlight Highlighter. I had mentioned this in my first impressions of e.l.f. and I realized it wasn't that pigmented and I have heard so many people say how amazing this highlighter is. All the comments I saw, people were telling me to scrape off the first layer. So I went ahead and literally messed with it and this is how the highlighter came out. It is so pigmented, like they were not joking. You don't have to use like something so intense, especially if you're in school. Well, actually, there are no rules. <laughs> if I was still in high school, I would soak my face in highlighter, but as you can see, it is very pigmented 
and I'm living for it. For the eyes, it's very simple. It's really up to you. I mean, if you have a lot of time in your hands, you can definitely do a glam look. But at least for me, like my last years of high school, I would honestly just apply a transition color. If not, I wouldn't apply anything. So I'm just gonna take this bronzer that I also use on the face and we're gonna pop this on the crease. This is just gonna work as a transition. And the thing that I like about bronzers on the eyes, it looks a lot more natural. You can use like a very light brown if you want or whatever color, but I think this just looks a lot more natural. For this video, because this is a very easy look, that's all we're gonna be doing. And honestly, even when I'm like on the go, like till this day, I still do this. I just apply a light brown on the crease and it just kind of makes everything look a little better instead of your eye looking completely flat with no product. So now what I'm gonna do is apply some mascara. I'm just taking the Maybelline, the Falsies Push Up Drama. This is a bomb mascara. I really, really like it. I actually left it in my car and it's super melted right now, but I feel like it's actually gonna work so good. So what I'm gonna do after is apply false lashes. I know some people might think that's so silly because sometimes there's no time for that. I'm not gonna lie, I used to use false lashes a lot, but I would apply them on my way to school. If not, if I would get there a little early, you could try to apply them on your way to school. If you're not driving, obviously. It is a little bit more difficult applying makeup in the car, but I think you should definitely take advantage for like when you're on the red light, on a stop sign, you know, things like that. Even simple little things like applying mascara, if you don't have time to apply it at home, you could just quickly apply it before class. I used to be the person that would literally get there right when the bell rang and I'm like running like an idiot going to my class. So I would still find a way to somehow do my makeup. For my lashes, I'm gonna be applying these from Vegas Nay in the style Grand Glamour. These are very dramatic. Well, they're not that dramatic. At least for me, they're like, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on. I did notice these lashes got kind of flat because I left them in the car. I don't know how I placed them. They are not even like curled anymore. So yeah. because the eyelashes are so flat, what I'm gonna do is just take this curling iron and curl them a little bit. Hopefully that makes a difference. I literally don't know what's wrong with my camera. Like it literally just turned off again. But pretty much what I'm doing now is just taking my NYX micro brow pencil in the color black. You don't have to draw in your brows like super bold. I naturally just like bold brows. And I don't really have a lot of brows. For me in high school, like I always felt like I had to go in with my brows filled in just because I was like very insecure about them. This was like always a must for me. Some of you might have really naturally bold brows already. Even like just taking a brow gel, that's more than enough or even applying no product. But for me, I always feel like it's just necessary because I really have nothing. So moving on to my lips, I'm gonna take this ColourPop lip pencil in the color Brink and we're just gonna line the lips. Why is this like falling out? Now for lipstick, I'm gonna be using the color Last Call from ColourPop as well. Now these are not from the drugstore, but these are $5. They are very, very affordable and they're very creamy too. So this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I know some people that wear no makeup might see this as a lot. This is for those girls that really like to wear makeup but don't have a lot of time in their hands but still want, you know, something done to their face. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys. <coughs> My throat was killing me. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.